New Hampshire boasts some of the best boating opportunities in the Northeast and possibly in the nation. Whether you enjoy paddling or motorboating, there's plenty for you to explore and enjoy on our 1,000 lakes and nearly 17,000 miles of rivers and streams. Sometimes boating activities can harm the health of our lakes, ponds, and rivers. Whether you are a motorboater or a paddler, there are a few simple actions you can take to help keep our waters clean and healthy. Minimize the use of motorboats in shallow areas. Motors can churn up sediment on the lake bottom. This leads to pollutants, including the nutrient phosphorus, being mixed into the water. Phosphorus speeds up the growth of algae and makes the lake murky and can accelerate the growth of toxic algae and invasive plants. Motors can also chop up invasive plants like milfoil. This can lead to the spread of invasive plants within a lake as the fragments of plants flow to other parts of the lake and continue growing. Noisy motors can also frighten wildlife and waterfowl away from their homes and nests. Do not operate a motorboat within 150 feet of any shoreline, other vessel, person or object in the water at greater than headway speed. Not only is it illegal, but boat wakes can wash away the shoreline and damage wildlife habitat. Excessive speed is also a danger to others, particularly along the shoreline. Operate away from loons and loon nesting areas. Many of New Hampshire's lakes are home to the common loon, a threatened species. Approaching loons in the water or on their nests will stress the animals and may lead them to abandon their nest. If you see an adult loon on the water, slow down as loon chicks are often difficult to see. And by the way, if you fish, be sure to use lead-free fishing tackle. Lead poisoning from ingested fishing tackle is the leading cause of adult loon deaths in New Hampshire. Take care to minimize generating waves that travel to the shoreline. Large waves can wash away shoreline, adding nutrients and soil into the water, which can cause excessive plant and algal growth. Large waves can also damage shoreline structures. Minimize repetitive passes in a particular area. Operate at least 150 feet away from the nearest shore and consider boating at times when there's less boat traffic on the lake. Wear a personal flotation device. A life jacket, or a personal flotation device known as a PFD, is the single most important piece of equipment on your boat and the most important consideration should be size. State law requires one wearable life preserver for each person in a boat. All children age 12 or under must wear an approved vest or jacket. It is strongly recommended that children of all ages wear their life jackets. Clean, drain, and dry all boats and gear between water bodies. Aquatic invasive species infestations make recreation in and on the water dangerous and unpleasant. They disrupt the ecological balance of lakes, reduce shoreline property values, and are difficult and expensive to control and they are nearly impossible to get rid of once firmly established in a water body. You can help keep New Hampshire's lakes a boating paradise by always cleaning, draining, and drying your boat, trailer, and gear between water bodies. Clean off all mud, plants, animals, and debris from your boat, trailer, and equipment. Cleaning is the law in New Hampshire. Drain the motor, bilge, live wells, ballast tanks, storage compartments, and gear. Draining is the law in New Hampshire too. Dry off everything that came in contact with the water. If launching your boat again within five days, thoroughly rinse with clean water somewhere where the runoff water won't flow back into the lake. Take extra precautions. During these uncertain times, the New Hampshire Marine Patrol recommends that boaters take a few additional measures to ensure the health and safety of everyone enjoying our lakes. Only boat with those in your immediate household. Maintain distance from others at boat ramps and fuel docks. Avoid using boat ramps and docks while other people are there and try to pay, be patient as there may be more traffic than usual. And as on land, maintain distance from others while in and on the water. For more lake friendly boating tips, download our free Lake Smart Guide to Clean and Healthy Lakes at nhlakes.org. Thanks for helping to keep our waters a boating paradise. Enjoy the lake.